This isn't about one patient. Or even about one county. This is about a statewide shortage. We're guessing it's a 35% shortage in the state of Kentucky. The shortage is paramedics. An example of the problem is in Owen County, where time is running out. We just don't know where this is going to go, and it's a frightening place to be. At the strike of midnight, this small hospital in Owen County will close. This isn't a new thing. Rural hospitals all over the state are shutting their doors for good, not able to survive. But just because the hospital is gone doesn't mean the people are. What scares you the most? The inability to answer a call, having a call go unanswered. For us, losing the local hospital, our transport times will increase from 20 to 40 minutes. And here's where things get tricky. Owen County's EMS director, Dan Brigno, says his team is terribly understaffed. I'm not the only one. Ask any of the counties surrounding us. We're all in the same position. And that position is changing positions. Just a little more logistical footwork now. He is one of two paramedics on each shift, but you won't see him on an ambulance. He's now in a chase car. I may have to jump a call and leave one call to go to another call. It's an old concept they're bringing back to life because they don't have a choice. I think it's a crisis over the entire region. I mean, we're not the only service that's having to resort to the chase car method now. So the chase car for us gives us the ability to move that paramedic, that advanced life support provider, which we're short on, to that vehicle and they can remain in the county. It's an efficiency band-aid. Other counties do it. They may call it a supervisor's car, but it's the same idea. You see Fayette County show up at a scene with multiple EMS units. In Owen County, you'll get one and an SUV. So the county is in education mode. The problem is, is that we get calls for stuff. I have a splinter. I've sprained my ankle at 3 o'clock and it's just hurting so bad I need a ride to the hospital. People view EMS as a taxi service in a lot of places. Their job is to respond no matter what the call. They know that, but when they're crunched with a skeleton staff, they want the runs to count. 41 to count one. Yeah, Denver. We are responding. My problem is, is, is that some folks just don't understand that calling an ambulance is for a life-threatening event. This county is facing many unknowns. Once the doors close on this hospital, these guys are the only emergency care providers around. They are trying to make it work, with few working. But will it? Only time will tell. Educating the community on when to dial 911 is the, is the primary goal now over the next couple months.